Today we have uh, a studio friend and a great drummer who's been in the stu our studio a number of times. His name's Logan and he's going to be playing uh, a, a beautiful Ludwig kit that we have here at the studio. And we're going to try a number of different recording techniques using just the Sony 100 series. Uh, it's going to be challenging because they are so high definition. They pick up so much information. Um, we're going to start with just using three microphones and see how we go. Okay, so when you're using a very limited number of microphones, for example, to record a drum kit, you have to think slightly differently. So we're not trying to capture the precise detail of every individual part of this kit, but we're just trying to capture the overall performance of the kit. On our kick drum, we're actually using our C100 microphone. It just is working fantastically. Obviously, this mic can handle a lot of sound pressure. It sounds exceptional. We've moved the microphone slightly off access to the face of the kick drum. That isn't so much so we avoid some of the beta sound. It's actually so that we can pick up some of the underneath sound of the snare. So directly above the snare, we've placed our Sony cardioid microphone. And then to the drummer's right, we have the Omni microphone. So we've got the C100 in cardioid mode on our kick drum, another cardioid directly above, and we're forming this beautiful triangle. Again, you just have to use your ears as much as possible when recording. There aren't any sort of true steadfast rules and everything's relative to the space that you're recording in as well. I'm nicely surprised at what a usable sound we got from just three microphones on that drum kit. It didn't take long to set up. Three microphone techniques, not a new technique, it's just our take on it using these Sony microphones. Um, incredibly happy with how it came out and it's a very usable sound without a doubt. We're now going to try augmenting those three mics to four. That'll give us a, a, a pair of overhead microphones, a, a bigger stereo image rather than just a mono sound. And uh, let's have a listen to what it sounds like. I think one of the best ways to get a really good drum sound is actually to use less, not more. So using a four mic technique where we have two cardioid microphones as our stereo overheads, um, a cardioid on the snare and our C100 on the kick drum, we're only using four channels, four mics, we've got a beautiful stereo 
overhead image of the kit. We've got a very centered snare sound and we've got not particularly isolated, but a beautiful rich kick sound. I think one of the main things that we get from this four mic technique as opposed to the three mic technique is where Logan here is using brushes there's a lot of little ghost hits and a lot more intricate and fine detail and we would possibly miss a lot of that if we use just a three mic technique. I think for most of my post-production work or when I'm recording uh, a drum kit especially in a rock style or in a jazz style I'd use a stereo pair of overheads. Uh, I, I, I really enjoy the three mic technique. I really love doing mono drums for sure. Uh, you can use two mono overheads, but, but yeah, personally I like to work in stereo. Drum kits are rarely just recorded on their own. They're generally part of a, a larger piece of music, especially in, in modern Western music. So how we go about recording them and why we record them is relative to the sound that they're going to be placed in. Let's have a listen to our three drum mic technique in an ensemble setting. not everyone can have a commercial recording premises to work in and most of us especially when we're starting out just record where and when we can so what we've done is we've set up the drum kit just in an empty room in a standard house just anywhere and we're just going to see how the Sony microphones perform in that situation so we're using our C100 as our kick drum mic for this three mic setup this is a sensational mic and all of these three microphones have Sony's anti-vibrational uh, technology inside of them, which is just great for loud sound sources like drum kits. We have our microphone off access slightly to the sound source of the kick drum, and we're also using it to access and pick up some of the underneath of our snare. We've got a cardioid microphone directly above the center part of the snare, which is where Eddie, our drummer, is playing it. And we've also got an omni microphone capturing the presence and the overall soundscape of the kit. They're precisely 100 centimeters away from the source of the snare. This creates a fantastic simple stereo image once you put it all together in post-production. The main focus is on capturing the overall sound of the kit and the performance rather than the individual parts. Well, well, firstly, we've got to thank Eddie, our boom operator in this series, for stepping in and playing the drums for us. Excellent work. Um, very nicely surprised at the detail, at the 
quality of the recordings. Uh, obviously, you can download the files at the end of the video, but really, really nicely surprised that in an untreated, normal, empty room in a house, we could still get a very, very usable drum sound. Most of us who've done any sort of recording uh, are very aware that you would use a specific type of microphone sometimes to say record the kick drum or you might use a, 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 a another type of classic microphone on a snare and we've just used the new Sony 100 series exclusively on the drum kit and I have to say that we're very impressed. It sounds fantastic. <laughs>